the importance of a service provider uh, doing some upgrades on the customer premises equipment is only with the perspective of uh, offering better connectivity to the um, customer. But it might also turn out that an enterprise has a different uh, relationship or a different uh, business workflow with the customer now. In that case, an enterprise has to be given access to the consumer or customer infrastructure for programming. Uh, this would lead us to an interesting uh, concept known as BYOD, bring your own device. Uh, we would have a look at it uh, through certain example and a specific use case. Uh, so BYOD is something that has been uh, there in the um, corporate world for some time. What it essentially means is that uh, the interns or people who have uh, relatively less involvement of stakes with the organization are asked to bring in their own devices and uh, the overall uh, overhead and the burden of these uh, interns or relatively less operationally um, important staff is, uh, is uh, managed by uh, keeping the overall capital expenditure of the organization low. Uh, in, in this particular case, uh, we have uh, the cust customer or the consumer that has CPE equipment. The CPE equipment is actually a set-top box that was of concern for a service provider. But in this case, the at the application layer, if you recall the five layers of the TCP IP, uh, the application layer to application layer connectivity essentially implies that we are talking about CPE equipment in terms of mobile devices. Now, these devices are programmable. So there is a possibility to reconfigure them for security updates for certain legal right of use uh, by an enterprise. So it means the enterprise has to be given access to uh, these uh, devices. The enterprise could actually offer a software update, a service patch, or, uh, or a basic an executable uh, to be downloaded and executed on the uh, smartphone or any other uh, CPE device. Uh, this actually means that we can now think about uh, an entire different kind of uh, business execution model uh, where we have personal devices such as um, smartphones and um, uh, PCs that could be used uh, as their own personal devices for uh, certain business activities reg regarding um, work from home or regarding uh, possible use in, 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 a, in an ent enterprise. Uh, as an example, uh, American Telephone and Telegraph, AT&T, introduced an app known as Toggle uh, that lets users to switch uh, between uh, the work and personal partitions on their own smartphones. Uh, and they realized this as, as, as a complete and a wonderful manifestation of how they were able to program the consumer infrastructure. As we will come back to that later. As another case, consider for now, I've taken the reference from CompuData, um, where we have organizations that uh, invite the customers to bring in their own devices and work possibly from home um, or uh, possibly work within the organization and contribute their own infrastructure in a win-win manner to the organization. So this would involve uh, some kind of uh, uh, operational software that is provided to the staff by the enterprise or the corporate. And then certain security dictates and policies have to be ensured like sandboxing. And then some use guidelines have to be agreed upon. Some authentication mechanisms have to be provided. And uh, from time to time, uh, the device has to be managed in order to make sure that the personal part and the uh, organizational part on that smartphone are uh, fairly um, earmarked and partitioned. Uh, the example that we were talking about, the AT&T uh, toggle application, uh, we have uh, the title that we can think about as partitioning the workplace on mobile device. This actually is uh, pretty much self-obvious, but um, let's look at the uh, programmable aspect where we have uh, smartphones 
uh, we also have the enterprise that is talking to the smartphone for uh, security and legal purposes and it will enable the smartphone to change its behavior as per the enterprise requirements. Compare this to more traditional approach uh, where the employees uh, uh, could have uh, carried separate devices uh, for business and personal use. If you recall, Microsoft provided some utility known as briefcase on their desktops uh, to uh, enable these organizations to allow their personal data, their organizational data to be kept separate from the individual user's data in, in a separate briefcase. Uh, the programming approach is nothing but as simple as executing an app. Um, it could be more involved also, for instance, expecting the client to run certain, uh, certain scripts uh, and then allow the app to be executed automatically. The network programmability involves nothing but the CPE itself. Uh, the service provider could actually have the um, backend service or the servlet side that is running on cloud and allows the applet side or the API to run on the uh, mobile device. Uh, the possible threat or we can say some challenge is going to be um, again uh, having a storm of uh, device update if there's a reconfiguration requirement required across all the employees. And the advantage is obvious that it would result into a better um, customer experience uh, for all the staff uh, that is providing services through better control of the, the data both for the customers who are managing their own devices and the staff who is remotely executing the applications for the organization and is interacting with the client. So this is kind of a win-win situation. Uh, this particular example of uh, uh, at and uh, was uh, taken uh, uh, with, with, with courtesy from uh, arstechnica.com. Uh, you might like to have a look at it as well.